Reports coming in that Jesus Calling author Sarah Young is unfortunately in rapid failing health. We'll dive in and discuss everything that's going on here in just a second. Welcome everybody to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today reminding you, as always, that we walk by faith, not by sight. And for someone like me, that's kind of my only option. So... Sarah Young, the author of Jesus Calling, probably, I mean, one of the most famous devotional books out there. It was published back in 2004 and, well, to date has sold nearly 35 million copies worldwide. Uh, This has been a book that has been endorsed by many Christians across the world as a daily devotional. Um, and it's also, you know, spawned, you know, other books as well that came from this, but not just that, but the Jesus Calling podcast. You also have uh, the Jesus Calling television show. There's been children's books uh, that have come out as well for Jesus Calling that's, you know, easier for them to understand for their age level. Uh, so Sarah Young has done a lot and even, you know, served as a missionary in Japan with her husband before. Uh, But the news coming in from her publisher that the author is now in rapidly failing health. She's apparently had some challenges now for a while. One of those includes Lyme's disease that she has, um, among others as well. There's a whole lot going on with her. That's the main one right now that they're talking about. Um, And it's, you know, been to the point where, you know, she won't do any interviews uh, even over the phone. You know, you can hardly find, you know, pictures of her anywhere uh, around on you know, social media or wherever. So she's a pretty private person. But, you know, her publisher urges people to pray for her because something that, that Sarah always does and has done throughout her time writing, she always prays for her readers. That was something that she was very specific on um, anytime, you know, she did give an interview. She says, I, I believe that I have a responsibility as a believer, as a Christian, uh, and it's non-negotiable to pray for all those who, who read my books, who, who are a fan of it. Uh, but it's really to give all glory to God, according to what Sarah Young has said. And fans have responded in a major way. Prayers are coming in from all parts of the world right now for her to be able to make a complete recovery. And Sarah Young is somebody who does believe in the power of prayer. Uh, she's somebody who is biblically conservative in her views um, and you know is one that is not you know really caved to the culture, which is nice to see because... There's plenty of authors out there uh, in the Christian market. At least they label themselves that way, but they have caved. Uh, Young is not one of those individuals. So uh, be in prayer for Sarah, for her entire family, uh, her children, her grandchildren, uh, for her to you know just make a complete recovery from this, uh, be able to beat it, and have an incredible testimony to share from it. I welcome anybody, uh, if you are a fan of hers, if you have the Jesus Calling book and you'd like to leave any thoughts or prayers for her, down below in the comment section, please feel free to do so. What I wanna do right now though, something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. This is part of my ministry outreach. I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, of course, keep you guys up to speed and everything else going on. I do it because yes, we are in the last days, really the final hours, and Jesus Christ is coming soon. For anybody watching right now, if you're someone who has never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin which means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Prayers going out to Sarah Young for her complete recovery. 
I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.